Hey there, I'm Camille. I'm a voice teacher with 30daysinger.com. Today I'm gonna go over a few basic anatomy terms you should know as a beginning singer, including your larynx, your vocal folds, your diaphragm, and your soft palate. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. It'll really help us out. First up, your larynx. You can also call your larynx your voice box, and some people call it your Adam's apple as well. So if you know where that is, it's about in the middle of your throat, depending on what you're doing. If you're swallowing, your larynx comes up. And if you yawn, your larynx drops down. So you can feel that natural movement. If you have a hard time finding your larynx, you can start a little bit higher underneath your chin and just slowly drag that finger down until you find a bump. That bump is the cartilage of your larynx. Your larynx is composed of cartilage and muscle and its main function is to house and protect your vocal folds. Now about those vocal folds, you might have heard them called vocal cords. Same thing. These are layers of tissue that vibrate together to produce sound. Your vocal folds are tiny. They're about 8 to 16 millimeters in adults. They're smaller for children. A few things to know about your vocal folds. They're not up and down like this. They sit within your throat at the bottom part of your larynx like this. They're connected in the front and they're open in the back. And second thing to know is that shorter vocal folds produce lower pitches and longer, thinner vocal folds produce higher pitches. So if you're singing a very low pitch, uh, your vocal folds are shorter and relaxed. If you're singing a high pitch, uh, your vocal folds have stretched out longer and they might be a little bit thinner as well. Next term to know is your diaphragm. A lot of people say to sing from your diaphragm or breathe with your diaphragm, but you need to know your diaphragm is an involuntary muscle. Its movement happens naturally. You don't have to think about it. Your diaphragm is a thin sheet of muscle that separates your thoracic cavity or your chest from your abdomen. At rest, your diaphragm is a curved dome shape. When you inhale, your lungs are filling with air. Your diaphragm flattens, contracts, and lowers. When you exhale, your diaphragm begins to rise, comes back to its dome-shaped resting place. If a singer or voice teacher tells you to breathe from your diaphragm, what they really mean is to take a low, relaxed breath in which your belly expands instead of a breath like this. We call that a clavicular breath or a high breath, and that typically doesn't set us up well to sing. Fourth and final thing to learn is your soft palate, also called your velum. The soft palate forms the back of the roof of your mouth and it's soft tissue. So you can feel with your tongue, the roof of your mouth is hard. We call that the hard palate because you can feel the bone right there. But behind that is your soft palate and it's soft tissue. You can feel and actually see your soft palate rising whenever you yawn. So if you go to a mirror right now and yawn looking inside at the back of your mouth above your throat, you'll see that soft tissue stretching up. Another way to feel the movement of the soft palate is to say the word sing, hold on to the NG, and then open to ah, like this. Sing ah. What you're feeling on the NG is the back of your tongue and the soft palate touching. Sing. And then when you open to the ah, sing ah. You're feeling the back of your tongue drop and maybe the soft palate lift away. Singers learn to adjust the soft palate's position because it plays a big role in your tone and sometimes in your tuning as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. I'd really love to know from you what terms are still confusing for you. Are there any either, you know, singers lingo or musical terms that you've heard but just don't know what they mean? Let me know in the comments. Visit 30daysinger.com for easy step-by-step -step singing lessons.